Hello YouTube, this is going to be a two part tutorial on how to make your own um, and edit your own base and PMD. So the first thing I'll, I should say, um, there's a limited amount of male bases and male clothes. This is a downside to PMD. The next thing I want to say, in the description you'll see a lot of links. There are also other videos, but the, the one you want to focus on mainly is the first one. That goes to another one of my videos, and when you click on it, you'll see in the description a lot of different links. Um, the video explains the links, but the ones you want to focus on, I'm pretty sure towards the bottom, they take you to um, DeviantArt, and it's MMD Mall and MMD Resources. I always use MMD Mall because I like it better. And so I will say some stuff you can you can download for PMD. Um ears and head there's ears uh, like cat ears and elven ears and hats, tops or shirts. Hair is hair, of course. Arms is bracelets and gloves and whatnot. Bottom or pants and skirts, feet or shoes, top and bottom are outfits, then there's another part that says outfits, but same thing. Textures, I recommend downloading textures for clothes and for hair. Um, a base, you have to download a base. Then eye textures, I recommend downloading an eye texture also. Because for what I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you guys what I think you should download for this, so you can follow along. Um, I recommend downloading, obviously, a base. You have to have a base. Um, hair. Um, a shirt. A bottom. Shoes. Um, a hair texture clothes texture and um, if you even want you can download um, textures like for for shoes if you want but I'm not I'm not gonna do that so again download base hair shirt a bottom shoes, hair texture, eye texture, and clothes texture. And if you're going to make it wear a skirt, you're probably going to want to download some undies with it. Because, um, um, they, the skirts and some stuff, they don't come with undies, so I will show a quick little thing of, like, how to download them if you have to extract them. So, the undies that I usually download, if um, they're in here, are, it's a pack of all different kinds. And, of course, but not in this one. So, to save some time, I will just download these ones right here, just to save some time. So, some stuff will say download file here, some will be like right here in the description. So for this one, it's over here, so click download file, this will come up, save file, Then, once it's done, you have to extract it, of course. So, after you've extracted it, I had to extract mine um, a little bit differently. So, you downloaded the one, if you saw my other videos and you downloaded the one I recommended. Um, 
you have to download them a bit differently. So here it is. I mean, not download, extract them differently. Right click, go up here to 7-zip, and go to extract files. Then pick where you want, click OK, and there you go, it extracts them. Then you can delete the folder that has a little zip on it. 7-zip is the same exact thing as WinRAR. Um, you just do it a little bit differently. So, next what you want to do, open up PMD Editor. And of course you have to extract that also, if you don't even have it yet. Um, so the little icon looks like this, and you click on that to download it. Ignore everything else that's in that folder. And you'll get a little box that looks like this. And a box that looks like this. The one you want to focus on now is this one. So, what you want to do, go to File, go to Open. It should come to, um, I don't know why I'm mined in it. But it should have came um, to your Miku Miku Dance um, models. Like I said, I don't know why mine didn't. But it should have came to right here. And you do not want these. You want to go find wherever you saved your base. So go find that. Mine's in my downloads. So you want to click on it. And then open it. If you get one like that where it says body and outline, you can click either one. Both of them are fine. And what you get is this. And yes, they have no clothes on and they're bald. So that's what the bases are supposed to look like. So, and of course we're going to fix that. So come back to this page and click on right here to MA. This is where you're going to edit everything. But before I do anything to help me a little bit, I go to my documents, I click on my Miku Miku Dance folder, I go to user file, then I go to model. What's easiest to do is when you're on your models, click folder, name it for what you want your new base to be. I'm just going to name mine A so I can find it easier. And then you've got a folder already made for the new model that you're going to be making. Next what you want to do is go back to where um, your base is and open it up and what you'll see is all this kind of stuff. What you want to do is copy it. Then go back to Miku Miku Dance, go to user file, model, click on the file you just made, then paste everything. The reason to do this is because messing with the skin on bases is not a good idea. I highly recommend keeping the skin. It makes everything a lot easier. So now what you want to do, you've got something that'll say whatever this is in PMD. You don't want those, so you delete them out of the folder. Same thing with the eye. Since I've got eye textures, um, and I recommend you download one, delete the eye, then if you have another PMD, delete it. The only thing you want to keep is stuff that looks like this or looks like that, then it says um, SPH. So, next what you want to do is come back to this, then get this back up. What you want to do now, file, save as, go to your Mickey Miku Dance folder, go to user file, model, go to the file you made, rename um, the, uh, the base, and click save. Now, everything that is in that folder belongs to this base. So, the eyes are still not gone, so sometimes what you'll have to do is um, click it off and sometimes you have to put it back on.
And then when it comes back on, when you load your model back up, um, the eyes should be gone and the skin should still be there. So again, take this back up, file, open, make sure you're in the file that you made for to save the basin and click on it. And now the eye should be gone. And remember, come over here, click the MA. The eye should be gone. If you can't tell, well, I can help out with that. Come over to this chunk, click the S. A subscreen will open, and as you can see, um, the eyeballs are gone. This is a lot easier to see when you're um, putting stuff on your character. Now, what you have to do. Um, come back to this chunk right here. What you want to do, click D, come to down here, click VR, and your character is supposed to look green like that. Come back to this chunk, click V, this will come up, come down here, click MA, and then now you can select stuff. So right now, while we're doing it, click on these and see which one um, is your character's eye. And if you get something that looks like this, it's not the eyeballs, it's around, like the eyelashes and stuff. So do not do that. So you have to keep clicking down, find which one is the eyeballs. If you get one that looks like this, that is the eyeball. This is the one that you need. Because first I'm going to show how to um, put on eye texture. So remember that number eight is the eyeballs. The last thing you want to click in this chunk is C. This will come up, it's fine, don't touch it. Now, what you want to do, come over here, click on 8. Because this is the same thing as this. So, click on 8 and change all these to white. Change this one to white. Now you're going to do is one simple little click and then the color box will come up. Change all those to white, and then come down here towards his textures and erase something if it's there. Now, what you have to do go to your documents and go to where you save your eye textures. If you can see, it will show a picture of what the eye textures look like. So, find an eye texture you want. I'm going to pick this one. Do not cut it, copy it. Once you do that, Go back to Mikamuku Dance, go to User File, go to Model, then go to where you saved um, your model and all the st that stuff in it. You want to then paste it, and if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can even rename the folder. So I'll just rename it 12. So after you've done that, you want to come back to this box. So, remember, whatever number your eyes were, be on that number, make sure it's blue, and come down here to texture. Where it says texture, type in 12, so that's what, or whatever you named it, type that in, and what a texture has to have is .bmp. It has to have that or it will not work. And as you can see, you have your own eyes for your own model. And that's going to be all for this tutorial. It might be more than a two-part tutorial like I thought it would be. But there you go. Now you have eyes on your character. So if you want for right now, save your character. Make sure it's in the right folder. Click Save. And... There you go. You got your eyeballs ready for your character, and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial so you can see how to put on clothes and hair and hair textures.